Under the Japan-Australia Economic Partnership Agreement, or JAPA, Japan and Australia have committed to a dialogue on strengthening cooperation to remove barriers to two-way student mobility, recognise qualifications and explore initiatives to improve access to higher education for students in each country. JAPA has also guaranteed access for Australian education providers to establish a campus in Japan. This engagement has contributed to Japan formally recognising Australian bachelor degrees for entry into postgraduate programs in Japan earlier this year, emphasising the important flow-on effects that cooperation under free trade agreements like JAPA can create. JAPA has been quite significant in the education sector. It opened up JASO scholarship opportunities to students wanting to study in a broader range of Australian institutions. I'm working as a freelance sports journalist. I graduated University of Canberra. I studied international studies and majoring in journalism. I usually cover J League and cover all the players and coaches and what they do in training. The qualification in Australian University, I think it helped me to think about journalism deeply. I chose Australia because I wanted to study in English and it was close to Japan. It's safe and the environment is nice. I see a great aspect of Australian education is they really force you to express yourself and communicate that effectively with anyone. We are currently uh, transforming the Department of English and we are going to make it mandatory for each one of our students to study abroad in Australian universities for at least four weeks. We chose Australia because the quality of education in English as a second language in Australia is so spurred. Australia is very uh, attractive to Japanese students. Our group of eight universities all sit within the top 50 universities globally and needless to say the kids just have a fantastic time. <laughs>